Now, if you're in the market for a super reliable scooter that goes 40 miles an hour, and you heard that right, 40 miles an hour with the 40 mile range, has a dual suspension, it's just a beast to look at, then you're gonna wanna watch this video because today we're gonna take a look at one of my favorite brands in scooters, and that is the Varla. This is the Varla Eagle One that, like I said, goes fast. We're talking scary fast, but it rides so good. Let's go and check it out. Now the Varla Eagle One is a beast of a scooter, but it's actually a beast in a good way. This thing packs 1,000 watt motor. Not just one, but two. When you hit full throttle on this thing and you have both motors engaged, this is what I would call a woohoo moment. You just go woohoo because it just takes off. Uh, you really have to hold on because it's going to really have some power in it. So this, again, can operate a single motor or it can run with both motors. And this is where you're going to get that incredible lift and incredible speed. 40 mile range, 40 plus miles an hour. And that's going to depend on your weight, uh, obviously the conditions and the environment that you're in. And I will tell you that I pushed it as far as 33, I think it was on the video, before I kind of was starting to freak out because it's going too fast. So it goes super fast. Not only that, but it has a weight capacity of 330 pounds, which is also super good. One of the things about this is that it has dual hydraulic brakes, which is a delight. I just love hydraulic brakes when it comes to stopping. It's so smooth and it's very accurate. It has a dual shock system and this dual shock system really gives you an experience unlike anything else, like front and back shocks where you can actually jump up and down and this thing is like butter. Uh, if you are off-roading with this thing, which you can as well, you know what? It's going to do extremely well because of that dual suspension. It has a bright, it has a super bright LCD display, 10-inch uh, pneumatic tires, front and rear fenders, and it has an aggressive lighting system. I just love the look of this, uh, of this uh, scooter. 77 pounds in weight, so it's not a light uh, scooter in any way. And then it has the actual board where you rest your feet. It has a grip board surface, skateboard-like surface that has some really fantastic looking, I would say, decals that are going to make it look super tight. So, oh, and by the way, they're replaceable. So let's take a look at the scooter. As you can see, I'm really excited about it. And if you're asking me if I recommend it, this is going to be a double thumbs up for this for sure. But check out my ride experience. Let's take a closer look and see why I kind of love the Varla, uh, just the line in general. So I have the Varla Pegasus. Uh, and it's still, you know, one of my favorite uh, scooters that I run on use on a weekly basis. And now I have a new favorite, which is the Eagle One. Let's check it out. All right, guys. So the very first thing we're going to take a look at are the tires. And we cannot ignore uh, the actual braking system for the scooter. Uh, first of all, you're looking at 10-inch pneumatic tires. And these are what I would put in the category of, of being kind of like fat boy pneumatic tires. They're not thin in any way. And they're going to be very good for a lot of different terrains. Uh, the actual braking system, you're gonna see that the braking system that you have both in the front and in the back are identical. Uh, you do have a very robust hydraulic system, uh, brake system that is controlling independently both front and back. You're gonna see the front one in a second. The other thing that you'll see that is super impressive is the suspension system that you see right here. Now this suspension system is absolutely fantastic and it's going to give you a ride unlike any other scooter that you may have experienced before. Super smooth. When you look at the combination of these tires, the suspension system, it's just, it's just an amazing ride. You do have a real nice uh, fender or mud guard here. Uh, you notice that it has this area here, uh, right here on the top where you can actually put your, your feet uh, or let's say your heel uh, for support depending on you know what terrain you're on, but really the suspension, hydraulic, just this system and all, it, you're gonna see this in the front as well, is what gives you such an amazing ride. Now, in addition to this hydraulic system that you see here, another standout feature of the Eagle One from Varla is the lighting system. And we're gonna see this turned on in a couple seconds. It really has a unique lighting system that not only is going to let someone see you, but it's also gonna help you see where you're going. So you can see here one of the lighting treatments here, and you'll see this, how well it lights up both in white and then all these other reflective surfaces once we power it up. Uh, the other thing I'll highlight is cable management. You'll notice here, this is the cable that comes here right into the uh, actual hydraulic brake here. Love the way the cables are managed. You'll notice how it gets nicely tucked away inside of the frame and it's just gonna be 
very, very discreet. Now in a couple seconds, we're gonna take a look at the bed here for the Eagle One, which is very skateboard-like and it has kind of like this grip surface, but it's also something that you can personalize and change. You're gonna see that in a bit. Uh, but right here, just wanna highlight some other things. So you do have two charging ports, right? We do know that this has a honking battery. Um, it has two areas where you can charge. So if you have a dual charger, well, if you have two of them, you can charge each one of these ports to get a faster charge. Now we were talking about the power and really you're gonna have enough power to get uh, an incredibly long range. Uh, we talked about the speed as we were going through the specs. We're talking about 40 plus miles an hour with a 40 plus mile range. That's gonna be based on your weight. It's gonna be based on the actual driving conditions, you know, how much you're throttling. Uh, but what also stands out is how wide this bed is. So when you look at that bed there, that's significantly wide enough for you to be able to have your feet side by side or one in front of the other. We're talking about 9.1 inches. Uh, the other thing is you can see is that it has that really nice graphic detail there. Very similar to a skateboard. You have that grip surface and you'll notice that I have two extra on the sides. It all comes included with this package. Uh, so, you know, what this literally means that you can change things up as this grip surface is used over time and you want to switch to something else, you can, or you can personalize this even further. Now the battery under this bed, you're going to find a 52 volt, 18.2 amp hour lithium ion battery. So that's again, powering this power source. And this does have not one, but two motors in the back and in the front, you have 100 watt motors. And that's going to really give you that, that lift and that speed that we're talking about, literally. If you have this, both motors engaged, and you hit that throttle, it is similar to driving a car or a high performance car where you, when you hit the gas, you kind of get glued to the seat. It is jarring at first once you um, hit full throttle. It's, it's actually a little scary because the bike, or in this case, the scooter, feels like it's gonna leap right, out, right from under you because it has so much power. Now in the front of the scooter right here, you also have that unique suspension system. You can see the shock right there and also how the fork is just designed. You can see the cable management that I was talking about, how one of the cables runs through the bed and disappears. The other one comes up right here and then it hides in the actual column itself. Uh, and also you have again, that front uh, disc brake system, right? Dual hydraulic brake system. So really nice design. Everything is really nicely tucked away. And because of the significance of the speed and the power that we have going on here, you also notice right here, this is the collapsing mechanism, right? So it has a double class system that's gonna lock the steering column in place because you can fold it for transport. Just keep in mind that, you know, this isn't a, a light scooter in any way. So if you're planning on carrying it, it's 77 pounds. Now cable management for the scooter is also pretty sweet. You'll notice that all the cables come right here. They get bound together and then they go into the steering column. Uh, cable from here, cable from here, there's a lot of stuff going and we're gonna see that in a couple seconds, but everything gets nicely tucked away. And when you fold the actual uh, steering column here, it isn't really something that is gonna get damaged or it's gonna get in the way of you folding it. All right, now we've spoken about how this scooter is kind of a beast when it comes to power. And because of the kind of power it has, hey, it's very appropriate for it to have an ignition system. So uh, it has a key-based system that when you flip the key, you'll notice that the power here's indicated in this area here. Um, and then what you have is the secondary area here that if I power this up, is gonna give me my speedometer and also power. So these two combined uh, is what's gonna really drive this. Now, outside of that, you have some really nice, I would say grips and supports right here. I love any kind of scooter or bike that has palm rest. So when you grab right here, your palms get an area where they can rest. They don't turn. They don't twist, which is also really nice. Uh, you'll notice that you have right here the hydraulic brake system right there is, uh, let's see if we can get it uh, through the side right there because it's kind of hidden, but you can see it right here. Here's one of the hydraulics. And then as we go over to this side, you'll notice here's the other hydraulic uh, kind of system right here that you'll press and actuate. So front and back. It does have a bell. And then over here, we'll move this over to the side. You have these two buttons. And these two buttons combine, depending on what you have, one of them is gonna give you a single uh, mode, another one is gonna be a dual mode, and there are combinations that you can press, and depending on the combinations that you press, you're gonna get different performances. Now, as we discussed, these two buttons here are gonna give you a lot of optionality, and let me just show you what we have right here. We'll go ahead and focus on the screen for a second. Uh, so what you have is the ability to have eco mode, and you'll notice that 
there's a power, there's a speed, and then there's a mileage uh, type, uh, I would say, calculation here or you know, something that you can really think about as far as how do you get either the longest distance, the most speed, and uh, also power. So, for example, if you have Eco Turbo, right, uh, you're going to get speed and power. If you have both of these off, you notice how you're going to have uh, power, right? But you're also then going to sacrifice a little bit of the speed and the mileage. And then if you think about over here, Eco Turbo, you notice again the, the variation that you see there. And then single, right, which is going to again give you the longest mileage, but then you're going to sacrifice both power and speed. So you can see that each one of these button presses are going to give you a different experience. Now this scooter does have a striking lighting system and as we discussed uh, you have both red and white lighting and you notice that again very skateboard like so there's nothing on the steering column everything is on the ground but it does a really nice job of illuminating the ground in front of you. It actually has nice throw and you can see right here how it's moving forward and it's going to make sure that you can see what you're um, going to be confronting in the road as you're riding. On the back, you have the red side, which is going to be nice, and someone's going to be able to see you. And if I press the brakes for a little bit, you can see what happens right there. So a lot of feedback, a lot of, I would say, uh, very well thought safety, and also both from a, someone who's following you and seeing you that you're going to stop, as well as someone who is in front of you seeing you coming. I uh, really love the setup, like where it's placed, and it's just so cool to ride at night. Now, for those of you who are curious about the actual folding mechanism and what it would look like, so what I'm going to do is I loosen that one bracket, and literally all that needs to take place is this needs to rest down uh, once you release the first two clamps, and then you're set to go. So this is what the folded position of the scooter would look like. Makes it easy to stow, especially if you're going to be stowing it for the winter, uh, or if you're going to be taking this on a truck, minivan, or in your car. Now, from a folded position, you just bring the steering column up, lower uh, this bracket here into place and all you do is you just lock these in place just like this and you're secure and you're ready to go. Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Varla Eagle One. Uh, this is a bad boy scooter or bad girl scooter. <laughs> uh, this thing is powerful guys. So let's talk about the specs and then we'll, we'll do some speed tests on this beast. First of all, uh, the Eagle One has some really impressive stats. Uh, you're looking at 40 mile range, top speeds of 40 miles an hour. We're gonna put that to the test. Uh, has two 1,000, check this out, two 1,000 watt motors. So this is a dual motor scooter, front and <laughs> rear motors. It has disc brakes, front and back. Has a fantastic suspension, check this out. Woohoo! This is like definitely like the woohoo bike. You can see this how this is bouncing up and down. Uh, it has also some fantastic grippy tires. Uh, has and, and we actually purposely did this video a, bit a little bit later in the day because we wanted to show off the LED lights. It has a real nice LED treatment. Um, in the front, in the steering area, uh, very much um, bike like, right? The steering. Not so much scooter like, in my opinion. And what you can see here is that I have my brake system on each side. So here I have one handle, front and rear brake. I have a bell that I can actually uh, ring. And then I actually have some power options, which we're going to check out in just a moment. Now, the Varley Eagle one does have a bell that we have right here that we could use if we wanted to, right? Uh, but it's kind of one of those little dinky bells. I would prefer to have an electric bell. Um, and it has two power modes, right? So we have power mode one and a power mode two. And depending on which power mode you're on, and I'm going to stop for a second just to give you guys a view of that. So we have two power modes. We have Eco Turbo, and then we have the single, uh, kind of single dual right here. So see how you can go single, dual. So Eco Turbo. So we're going to test each one of these out. On this side, you do have your speedometer. This is going to, this is your throttle as well. And then here's your power, and this is uh, with key, right? So you do need a key to kick this off. So let's go ahead and, and then just take off and the other thing that you'll notice is that I didn't have to kick to start now I'm throttling this and right now it's going 17 miles an hour uh, 1920 miles an hour and this was pretty pretty effortless to get there this has one of the most comfortable rides because of this dual suspension that you see here one of the most comfortable rides that we've had in the scooter in quite some time it's just very well made now, it has a very tight steering as well, so 
which gives me a lot of confidence. When I turn right, I turn right, and when I go left, I go left, so everything is definitely with purpose. So we're going to go over this grass just to see how well it handles in this area. And I can tell you that bouncing a little bit, but not that significant at all. This is actually very nice. We'll get here on the sidewalk again, and uh, really nice. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to see how well this bike, or this scooter in this case, performs. We're going to power this up a little bit. Whoa, I can feel that. Whoa, that was really nice. All right, <laughs> that was too fast for a sidewalk. So we're going to see how this is going to do on the street just in a second. And let's see what else I can talk to you about. Oh, let's talk about the bed for, example, for a second. The bed is one of the widest beds that we've seen on a scooter and one of the coolest ones as well. Now, you'll notice that I can have both my feet side by side here. I don't have to worry about them being, um, you know, really next to each other or, or in front like this. I can actually have them side by side right here. And that's because it's so wide. The grip surface is skateboard-like. And what I like about it is that Varla actually includes a couple different views where you can actually change the actual surface. Right now, I have a really cool fiery skull on it, but they have a couple other options. And then as you use these, I'm sure that you can order some more replacements. All right, guys, so what we're going to do here is we're going to start in the single dual. So we basically turn on the dual here, right? Not the eco turbo, but we pushed from going single to dual. Um, and I am in gear one, and I want to see how well this does. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Woohoo! Oh boy, this is definitely one of those woohoo bikes. You have to hold down because once you hit that throttle, it kicks off. And we're hitting 20 miles an hour just like that. That was fast. Wow, that was really fast. All right, let's change this to speed two. And we're going to go ahead and right now we're at 15. We're going to slow down and we're going to see what happens. Uh, boy, it almost got away from me there. Let's go hit it. You can definitely feel like the throttle there. Oh my God, definitely. 23, 25 miles an hour. Jesus, 28. Woohoo! Definitely a woohoo bike. Or in this case, woohoo scooter. That was fast. All right. All right. So, guys, we're going to do something else here. Uh, we're going to, yeah, you know what? I'm going to push it to level three. And we're going to see how fast it picks up to top speed. All right. So, I'm going to be really careful. I'm going to actually kick a little bit so I can stay on top. And I'm going to hit it now. And we have 15, 20. You can see how fast it's picking up. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 miles an hour. And here comes the brakes. Oh, you know, those brakes smooth. Oh my God, just wants to get away from you. Wow, that is fast. Oh boy. All right, so let's see how fast we can go. Uh, this has a longer stretch. I'm gonna get kind of like in a pole position. Um, I would say that with this one, you definitely want to wear helmet for sure. You know, we're hitting 31 miles an hour. I'm afraid to hit 40. This thing is going so fast. Oh my God, this is fast. Oh, this is so much fun. So really, really, man, the acceleration on this thing is just fantastic. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what the speed acceleration looks like. And we're just gonna go ahead and go with a single. All right, so we're going to floor it all the way, speed three. I'll call this out, 12, 13, 15, 17, 18, 21, 21, 22 miles an hour, oh, 23 miles an hour. That was pretty nice. That is really much more manageable, I have to say. All right, so now we're on Eco. Let's see what Eco does for us. We're going to floor it. And I got Eco. Wow, that's comfortable. That's uh, 14 miles an hour, right? So let's go ahead and see what happens if we do eco and dual. So I have both buttons pressed. So it looks like the eco really does disable kind of like the speed factor because it's still at 15. And that's a really comfortable, like non-scary 15. All right, as soon as I take that one off, this is where the woohoo speed... Oh my God. This is fast really really fast all right guys so now what we're going to do is we're going to do another speed test we're going to wait for these cars to pass 
and we're going to see what happens because we do have a speedometer or a speed cam because I want to see how true the speed is. So we're going to wait until we get some distance between these cars and then we're going to we're going to floor it. All right, let's wait for that car to pass and we're going to see. Okay, floored. 14 miles an hour, 17 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour, 27 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, I am afraid. 30 miles, 31, can I go faster than 31? Woo, look at that, too fast, baby, too fast. 29 miles an hour, <laughs> that was awesome. Love it. Sorry guys for being overly excited about that speed, but that was incredible. All right, so can she go fast? She can go fast. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead in eco mode here. This is the single button, keep things down. And we're gonna try out the suspension and see how well this does. Ah, <laughs> oh, was that fun? That is an adrenaline pump for sure. So, uh, all right, so we're gonna go through this nature preserve here and really, really bumpy terrain, even though it is paved. Um, but you know, just things buckle a little bit here. And we're gonna just see how things look. <laughs> things look pretty awesome, right? Especially with these lights. And it is very comfortable. Oh my God, this ride is just incredible with the dual suspension. It's like, it's just taking up all the bumps. All right, so let's talk about, uh, we talked about the miles 4040. Uh, this is gonna support riders up to 330 pounds. Uh, it does have a uh, dual fast charging, so you can actually get two chargers to charge the battery on this. Obviously it has a heavy duty battery in order to be able to deal with that power. Uh, you'll notice that while I'm riding this bike also, I don't know if you noticed that when we were riding it with the side view, the steering rides really high. So that means that you're gonna have, if you're a tall person, six foot, six foot two, because of how high the steering wheel rides, you're gonna be able to handle this without a problem. So I've seen uh, other scooters where you, you kind of have to lean forward. This one I'm leaning, you know, just, I'm tall, uh, you know, fully erect right here. And uh, my arms are bent because the steering column and the handle is so tall, so high up. So digging that light system here, pretty awesome. And I just gotta kind of try to slow this thing down because it just wants to run away from me. If, if there was a negative about the scooter, probably the only negative would be that it has so much power. But that's not a negative, that's like, that's like a super positive. And I'm digging it, you can tell. Wow, this is incredible. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Varla Eagle One. See you in the next video.